Hey guys, it's Ashley from ReloGeek.com, founder of Relo Academy, an online transfer broker training course designed to take your business from rookie to pro in as little as eight weeks. And you're watching Relo Geek TV. And today I really wanted to direct this episode at people who are trying to ship their car and brokers who are shipping cars for their clients who don't understand the importance of not double booking. And if you don't know what I mean by double booking, I know I created a video about this a long time ago, but it seems that I keep running into the same problem. So I really wanted to sit down with you and just talk to you a little bit more about why double booking is hazardous, what do companies mean by double booking, and why as a broker, if you're doing this, you should not be doing this, and how you can prevent yourself from running into problems, especially with your clients. So if this is something that you're interested in learning more about, then I want you to continue watching. Okay, so what is double booking? Double booking simply means if you're a person that have thought to yourself, you're shipping your car and you said, well, I'm gonna go with this company and see if they get my car picked up, and then I'm gonna go with this company because maybe they have a different list of carriers and maybe they're gonna get my car picked up faster. This is what I like to call, or what most people call, double booking. Okay, so when you double book, here's the deal. Before I tell you why you can't double book, let me explain to you about this preferred carriers myth that's been going around. A lot of auto transport companies, big and small, are saying to their clients that, hey, we have a preferred list of carriers. This is myth number one. Most of these companies, and I use most because I do know of a few brokers, very few, who do actually work directly with carriers and only run specific lanes for that reason, who are being very successful at it, who guarantee prices, who guarantee pickup times, and I have no problem with it. However, majority of the companies out there have on their website that they have this list of preferred carriers. There is no list of preferred carriers. The list of preferred carriers is the load board called Central Dispatch. And recently, I have had this happen to me where a client came to me, they wanted to move their vehicle, and I told them the process and I explained to them specifically that I use a load board called Central Dispatch that most brokers use. They seem to have understood what I was saying. However, when I went to check the status of their vehicle on the said load board, Central Dispatch, I saw that another company, who I won't disclose their name, also had their vehicle up there. So immediately, I emailed my client and I explained to him that I am actually canceling his order and that I'm dropping him as a client because I do not work that way. And that if the only thing I wish he would have done is let me know that he wanted to go with somebody else and I would have been okay with that. I am really an understanding person. He emailed me back and told me that he did not know that he was, by going to another company, that we all were using the same load board. Had he known that, he would have never done that. So here I am with you right now trying to explain to you because you could be the next client that I had. I, don't, I almost said his name, but I don't want to say his name. You could have been the next client that I had that went through that. So. If you're watching this and you are a client, understand that no matter what broker you go through, we are using the exact same load board. So whether it's me or it's another company or it's the other company, they're going to be using Central Dispatch. So this also ties into picking the right company. Auto transport companies are not different. Brokers are not different. We all do the same exact things. The only difference is, is the relationship, the feeling, the way the, com the, the company that you're doing business with makes you feel, and of course, price. Now, here's the thing. If a broker that you're going with is charging $1,300 for your move, and then you come to me and I tell you that that same move was going to cost you $1,500, guess what the problem is? We're using the same exact load board. So if you go through both of us, they're going to put your vehicle up there depending on their service fee. Let's just say it's $200. They're going to put your vehicle up there for $1,100. And then if my service fee is $200, I'm going to put your vehicle up there for $1,300. Who do you think is going to get moved first? Obviously, my, my, me. Uh, your car's going to get moved through me first, given, and I have to say given, 
the fact that a carrier decides to even call one of us. Because as a carrier, as somebody that, who spent seven years as a driver, I can tell you, carriers, one, see that as a red flag. That's the first thing. Because the last thing a carrier wants, and I'm pretty sure I've covered this in other videos, but I'm going to say it again. The last thing that a carrier wants is to drive all the way out to pick up a car only to find out that it was booked with another broker and that another driver already picked it up. I've had that happen to me. So I can tell you that I know a lot of carriers who do not choose to call any broker that has um, the same vehicle as another broker on that load board. And I mean, you might as a client think that, hey, I'm doing myself of justice because I have a deadline, so this broker is going to get my car picked up faster, when really you're just hurting yourself. And now my message is for you if you're a broker. If you're going to price your client's vehicles and you're not using some type of automatic quoting and you're pricing it manually yourself and you go on Central Dispatch because that's how I recommend you do price your vehicles, you see that there's another company with a car that matches the credentials that you're putting up. 1997 Volkswagen Golf going from um, New Jersey to San Diego, California. You see that exact same car. You write that client and you tell them that you're not taking them on as a client. And you might think, well, Ashley, I'm in this to make money. But you know how many clients I have turned down? Because when I see that, that's a red flag for me. And usually what is happening is that brokers are putting the cars up without the client's permission. So if you're a broker and you're listening to this or watching this and you're one of those brokers, stop now. Do not put people's vehicles on that load board without a signed contract. You are hurting the brokers that they do want to do business with. And I, you might be getting away with that now and you might have been successful at that now, but over time, you're, you're gonna, it's going to all catch up to you. And it's worse because Central Dispatch is noticing these things are happening. And they're asking people to report you. So please, I'm begging you, stop doing that. There is so many cars moving every single week. There are over 200,000 searches every single month worldwide for auto transport. So why do you then need to lie and deceive clients? There is enough clients in this world for all of us. They will like you based on you. And even though we all are brokers and we all do the same things and we all use the same load board, we're all very different. I'm different from you. You're different from Tom. Tom's different from Mary. We are all different. The clients that are meant to be with us, we will get. And the clients that aren't, we won't. I have referred many clients to other companies. I've told people to go to Montway. I've sent people to ship um, safe and direct auto transport. I don't write these companies and tell them that I'm sending them there. If I feel a company can do a better job than I can, I want that client to go there because overall, I want people to have a good experience. And that's what you should want too. When clients have a great experience moving cars, people are gonna start learning about the fact that there are brokers that are actually looking out for their best interests. And when they start doing that, our industry is gonna flourish. People are gonna start trusting brokers. But you know what's happening right now? Right before your eyes, clients are getting smarter. They're trying to book with carriers directly. Companies are creating software systems that are eliminating brokers. Do I believe brokers will ever be eliminated? No. But who knows what the future will hold because all the power lies in clients' hands. And if our clients lose faith in us, then we have no business. And there won't be enough food to go around for all of us. And you could end up being the one that loses the business. Now, again, it all starts with us first. And then it goes to the clients. So if you're a client, again, watching this, just think about it first. When you're talking to these companies and you choose one of these companies, don't choose on price alone. And I keep telling you this. Stop choosing on price alone. Choose the broker that, that you feel is going to get it handled. That's who you want to choose. The company that you feel will do the best job and give you the best experience. I always say this in all my videos and I'm going to end on this note. Go with your gut. If your gut tells you that this company is wrong, then don't choose them. Like I said, I have turned down money. I have turned down clients that I could have easily won over. I could have easily outpriced the other broker. I could have easily done anything. They were already ready to sign contracts. Some of them have signed contracts with me. 
Some, most of them have signed contracts with me. Most of them have even paid my service fee. And I have refunded their money because I want to, I don't want to step on another broker's toes for one. And two, if they already were my client and I go on the board to check it and I see another broker's working on it, I back out. And you should too. Let that broker have it, even if they didn't earn that client, even if they don't have a signed contract. Let them have it. You don't always have to win that way. You might lose one client, but by losing that one client, you gain 10 more. And I truly believe that. You just got to believe it too. So get out there and win. Everybody can win. I want you to win, but I want you to win the right way. I teach people how to create freedom in both life and business the right way. Everybody can win when everybody does business the right way. So that's it for this week's episode on Relo Geek TV. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, you help me by sharing my videos. So if you like this video, please share. And as you, while you're at it, if you're a broker and you're looking for help or you're looking for some type of support community, I offer that through my Facebook um, page. So if you go to facebook.com slash and like the page, you're going to get daily inspiration, daily tips, and you get to interact with yours truly. So that's it for this week's episode. I'll see you guys next time.